What's up, guys? It is scorching hot outside. But again, I'm at Walmart, and I got another tip that they actually poured in a ton more games in their $5 bin. And we're going to see what I get. And guys, I'm really excited about this for some reason. It's almost like going to a thrift store, but they're brand new sealed games for $5 a piece. I mean, I pay $5 for PlayStation 4 games at thrift stores, and I'm pretty happy about it. So I'm like ecstatic about this. So let's see what I get. I'm actually going to show you guys what I get at home. It's so hot out here. Normally I would do it in the car, but man, it is just a scorcher today. So let's check out to see what I get. So I even picked up some retro video game stuff today too, and I'll go through that as well. I've been like raking in the video games here lately. And uh, here's my two bags of Walmart games that I just got. So let's get right okay, into guys, it. Okay guys, you probably think I'm nuts for doing this. But I'm gonna tell you, this only happens once every console generation. And this doesn't happen in my home store very often, Walmart. And I'm very, very excited. There probably will be a part three. They told me that there's still more games that they had to go through. So yeah, um, I'm pretty excited about it. Adding to my collection very, very, very cheaply. That's what I like to do. And Mo Game Con candidates, we'll see. So first, this is a Missouri Game Con candidate. Everybody's Golf VR. This is a Missouri Game Con candidate on Rush. I actually have this downloaded. It's not horrible, but it's not the best racer. It was a PlayStation Plus game. Now this cover, I've actually talked about this cover a little bit on my channel. Uh, the Talos Principle. This has got to be one of the weirdest covers on the PlayStation 4. And it is... Um... I don't know. It, it, it doesn't rank up there as like one of the worst ones ever, but it's just strange. Very, very strange. I'm keeping that in the collection. This was Radical. Friday the 13th, the game. Don't have it. Have it on the NES. So, um, pretty cool. Um, I almost got it on the Switch the other day. So, yeah. Rhyme, I actually bought two copies of this. I don't know what it's going for, but... Um, I've always seen it and I've never played it, so we'll see. I have two copies of that. Uh, the Division, that's a Mo Game Con seller, easily. I actually ended up buying two copies of this for some reason. Mirror's Edge Catalyst. So uh, one will go in the collection, one will go to Mo Game Con. This is going to Mo Game Con, and definitely. Uh, Minecraft story mode and I like to have a little bit for every age group and I could see Even if I mark that ten dollars, I paid five for it. I mean, I'm happy with that. I really am Making some little kid happy Making myself happy, you know uh, For honor I actually got like the definitive version and I actually had this downloaded So that's gonna be going to Missouri Game Con we happy to you. I haven't decided on this one yet. Um, I believe this one just came out this year. 2018. This one was really radical. I had to dig deep for this one. Ukulele. And I, I don't own this game. So I'm pretty happy to add that one to the collection. Uh, Metal Gear Survive. And the only reason I got it. I don't own it. And I own every single Metal Gear Solid game. So I'm like, five bucks, I'll leave it sealed, I'll just stick it in my collection, whatever. Now, I was just talking about this, I was like, man, I wish they had this one. And I will, well, I will do a live stream of this, Micro Machines, World, or, yeah, World Series. And a huge, huge fan of Micro Machines in general, and uh, just the series on the NES and the Sega Genesis. Uh, was it on anything else? I think there were some other releases too. Uh, don't quote me. Was it on the PS2? But that's going in the collection for sure. Pillars of Eternity. Never, never, never heard of it. It's an RPG. 
and um, it looks okay. So we'll try it. Um, I don't think it's online. It's another 505 Games. Rhyme. So there's your other copy of Rhyme in there. That'll go in the collection. Just a few more. Catalyst. Uh, Mirror's Edge, Edge Catalyst. That'll go. Well, Game Con. Now this was strange. Torment. Tides of Numeria. Um, never, ever, ever heard of it. And it is an RPG. And this is, this was a fundraised RPG. Um, it was a Kickstarter. So I'm pretty happy to have it. Um, we'll try it out. And then Deus Ex, um, Mankind Divine, or Divide. Sorry. I've never really played this series. So Deus Ex on uh, Xbox One. So that's my Walmart pickups, $5 a piece. And if you don't believe me, look, $5. It's like unreal to me, uh, this deal. And, you know, I'm probably going to make my money back off of this. And maybe a little more, who knows, we'll see. So let's get into my retro game pickups. Okay guys, so like I said, I've been rolling in the video games and it's a different mindset when, I hate to say it, when you are shifting more towards a reseller than a collector. Now there's still stuff in here that I'm going to put in my collection. So it's a little bit of both, but more, I'm gonna say 60% of it is reselling and putting towards the booth that I'm gonna have at Missouri Game Con that table. So it is a little bit of a different mindset and just thinking how much money can I make off of this? How much can I put into this and make a profit? So it, it, it is a little different. Um, and I thought my prices were fair at Missouri Game Con. I could be wrong. But if, if I didn't pay you know more than like two or three dollars or something, and it's kind of in bad shape, I'm not gonna jack the price up. I, I'll give you a deal. So anyway, I'll do more vendor talks some other time. Maybe that'll be a video I do, uh, random retro thoughts. I haven't done one of those in a while. So uh, without further ado, here are some PlayStation 2 games, a little bit of Wii, and I think one GameCube game in here. Uh, Ghost Recon, Jungle Storm. I think I may keep that one. Uh, test Drive Off-Road Wild Open. Again, this is one I'm probably gonna keep just because I, I like the Test Drive series. Red Faction and the disc. These discs were immaculate. I got these at my honey hole. I mean, it, it's, it's pretty good. Most of these are really, really, really good. And from now on, I'm not buying jacked up discs. I, I'm just not gonna deal with it. Um, I got Call of Duty Finest Hour. I actually ended up getting that for Christian. Uh, he got a PlayStation 2 from me. Uh, Lord of the Rings Xbox. So that'll be a quick seller. And the disc is beautiful. Crimson Skies. Oh, man. I, I love this game. This is probably my favorite Xbox original game. Highly underrated. You've got to play it. You can play it on 360 as well. It's backwards compatible. And when you get an Xbox, Scorpio, whatever the heck it's going to be called, uh, you got to get this game. That that actually would be a pretty interesting video to do. Like, top 10 Xbox original games you need to have for the new Xbox console. Because it's going to be backwards compatible. And this would be like one or two on my list. So, yeah, great game. Uh, Reckless, the Yakuza Missions. I own this. Uh, beautiful disc. Going to Mo Game Con. Jaws Unleashed. Um, I may keep this because it's the greatest uh, hits edition. I don't know. I love this game for some reason. Now, I I always hate to be the bearer of bad news uh, for the ladies that work in my local honey hole, a thrift store. But uh, these are empty, and it's it's GTA 3 and Vice City. This will go in my free pile. They just gave them to me. And that's the deal, guys. Like, 
I, I love doing the whole free thing. I'm gonna have like probably three times more this coming Missouri Game Con than I did the last one. And I'm gonna tell you, people love that. I love it. I mean, I, I love just giving stuff away. And some of the stuff was pretty in pretty good shape. And these aren't bad if you're looking for them. Skyrim belongs to the Nords. That's going to Mo Game Con. Uh, is it missing the map? Yes, it is. But oh well. Uh, Escape from Bug Island. I am gonna have to check. This is on Wii. If I don't have it, I'm probably going to keep it just because of the title alone. Never heard of the game. Secret Stash Games. So we'll see. Uh, Zach and Wiki. Quest for, I don't know, treasure. And the only reason I got it is because it's a Capcom game. Um, I think this is an anime. And the disc was immaculate. So, yeah, like beautiful. I have probably going to keep this one. We'll see. Uh, I'm keeping this one for sure. The Naked Brothers Band, the video game. I'm a sucker for cheap Nintendo, or not Nintendo, Nickelodeon. Wow. Nickelodeon games. So that's going in the collection. <laughs> what the heck, man. Uh, this is for Stevie. Fall. This is Halo, the Fall of Reach. I don't know if he has it or not. If he doesn't, I'll just I'll give it to Bubby or I'll just put it in the giveaway. Because it was a buck. This is from me, Spartacus on DVD. Uh, I've never actually watched this movie. Um, I'm a big fan of Gladiator, Russell Crowe. And I've seen clips of this. You know, I'm Spartacus. No, I'm... S ooh, 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 score. This is actually from my local, old local video store, Cinema Plus. Even better. Score. I don't have a whole lot of movies from there. I have a ton of my games. There's the rental sticker. Oh yeah, that's that's awesome. So I've never seen it before. Probably walked by it a million times. Who knows? Uh, we got Tac One on PlayStation Two, and the disc is beautiful. That's going to Mo Game Con. I already own it. Racing Italiano. I'm keeping that. I've been kind of on a racing game kick here lately. Aside from my whole, you know, brand new games for five dollars, uh, Marvel ne Nemesis: Rise of the Imperfects. This is a strange, strange game, and the controls are just bizarre. And I'm not a big fan of this game. That's going to Mo, Mo Game Con. Um, I think I bought this because I think it's a variant. ATV Quad Pro Racing Two. Um, never seen that variant I don't know but um, I'll, I'll check and I'll put it in the collection uh, Hunter the Reckoning and uh, there's a bunch of rental stickers on here no EB games EB games that's cool um, I love EB games and uh, it's complete so that Mm, we'll see. I may not have it. If I don't have it, I'll add it to the collection. I'll double check. Now, this was the find. I actually have one more big kind of item. But this was the find. Uh, Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance. $2.50. I'm pretty stoked to have it. And the disc is immaculate. I know I've said that a lot in this video. And then uh, it is complete. So, that was a score. Basically paying like based you know five percent of what it's worth um now this was just kind of random in my thrift store um toys r us bags and there was two of them they're big bigger ones i'm not gonna pull the other one out but i was like can i have those bags please and i asked in like the nicest voice i could and she's like yeah sure and then one more item reach over the camera this was totally radical i already own it so, um, this is the uh, Intellivision flashback, uh, the, the mini console, and it is, like, beautiful. It's in beautiful shape. Now, if it were the uh, Coleco, I'd be flipping out even more, because that one is going up in price, like, drastically for some reason. I paid $10 for this. Uh, how many games are on the system? 60. 
60. It says it right there. And it's been a while since I've messed around with this. I, I remember getting it when it first came out. I was really, really, really excited about it. And um, I actually got it for my birthday. This, and I got the Coleco for my uh, one of my Christmas presents from my mom. And uh, this one is better than the Coleco uh, just because of the games. There's a better selection. But I, I played the Cle Coleco one. Um... Because I never played a ColecoVision in my life. And just that was like out of pure curiosity. And like man I really want to play these games. Alright guys I can't believe how many games I picked up here in the past two days. And uh, these videos will probably be spanned out a little bit. But I picked up quite a bit of games here. Um, and uh, I will probably do one more Walmart raid. That's what I'm going to call them. And that's probably what I'm going to title these videos, Walmart Raids. So, uh, we'll see. Okay, guys, so what do you think of my pickups? My Walmart pickups? Am I doing good? Am I doing good there? Um, I, I just kind of looked at the games I'm going to get rid of, and I, I, I'm going to make back a little bit more than what uh, I spent. So, that's always a bonus. Um, and I'm adding to my collection, actually big time. I didn't count how many games I'm adding to my collection, at least 40 to 50 easily, not counting these games. So, all right, guys, I'm going to stop the video here. I've been rambling too long. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thanks for watching. <laughs>